700,000 tons. That's approximately how much waste Trinidad and Tobago produces every year, working out to about 2,000 tons per day. To put that daily average into perspective, that's equivalent to the weight of about 19 blue whales. 95% of all the country's waste is disposed of at Swim Call's three Trinidad-based landfills, Beetham, Guanapo, and Forest Park. The company's fourth landfill, Studley Park, is located in Tobago. According to the ninth report of the Joint Select Committee on Swim Call, of the four, the Beetham and Guanapo landfills should be closed. Six years later on, they remain open. The country doesn't have, uh, you know, well-designed sanitary and engineered landfills. Uh, there are plans afoot to uh, expand um, the Forest Park landfill to have it um, be designed into a, a well-engineered landfill. So we know that most of these landfills are, are near to their end of life in terms of capacity-wise. So there's, uh, but uh, certainly we need to address. Um, how we how we manage and close off those landfills. We need to develop a brand new sanitary landfill, engineered site with liners, with leachate collection and treatment systems, with uh, gas venting, with air quality and um, water quality monitoring on an ongoing basis, and that needs to be set up. Um, and that that in itself is you know a tremendous investment. Despite repeated acknowledgement from both Swimcall and the EMA, the timeline for making Forest Park the main landfill, with the others acting as transfer stations, is still at best five years away, this according to Rajkumar's estimates. The 2013 report even stated that, quote, although Swimcall made attempts to raise the importance of waste management, it has remained a low priority for central government, end quote. Because we have we have been storing waste in, in these sites for um, 50, 60 years in, in, in the case of Bitham and, and Guanapo. Um, it's not just a question of closing the gates one day and say the landfill is closed. We have to remediate those sites and, into, and ensure that the waste that is being that will decom decompose over the next 100 years um, does not present any challenges to the environment and, and ill effects to, to, to humans and, and public health and so on. One of the GSE's recommendations in 2013 indicated that, quote, the monitoring of ground and surface water should be conducted annually in collaboration with the Water Resources Agency at all landfills. This should encompass testing for runoff water at landfills in order to prevent contamination of water reserves, end quote. This too failed to materialize. As part of proper landfill management, there, there is a requirement to have um, environmental monitoring, monitoring of uh, groundwater, of surface water, and, and of air quality. Um, unfortunately, because of lack of funding, we have not uh, been doing active uh, environmental monitoring. At the end of the day, we can only do as much as our funds allow us to do. We have lobbied time and time again, and we have shown that to operate the landfill sites in Trinidad and Tobago require a minimum of $100, $120 million. On April 1st, Swim Call's chairman, Ronald Roach, resigned, citing frustrations with a lengthy list of challenges. A lack of adequate funding for landfill activities, inherited corrupt practices, gang activity, unauthorized salvaging at landfill sites, inadequate health and safety systems, inability to attract the best talent due to perceived security threats at sites, insufficient cash flow for timely payments to suppliers, as well as continued fears of political interference. Swimcall is now searching for a new CEO. Join me next time as we take you inside the Beatum landfill. Joshua Simongo, TV6 News.